What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia Season 7, Episode 16. Remember to check out that Patreon if you guys want the full uncut version. Check out the Twitch if you guys want to watch these live with us before they even go on Patreon. Not going to waste any more time. My Hero Season 7, Episode 16. Let's do it. All right, the Gunga Villa site, exactly where we left off. I just don't know how any of our people make it out of this. The Sad Man's Parade, March of Grief, whatever they're calling it. Infinite is so... Death Parade, so strong. This guy looks like a goddamn zombie. I mean, I know Hawks realizes the danger. Oh, Uraraka and Sue came in. I know Hawks realizes the danger of twice his quirk, but he could literally stomp out everybody here, just trample them like the rumbling. Butterfly effect is strong. Which began with a glowing baby. Be overwhelmed by chaos. Yeah. I'll be honest. Obviously, I don't want anyone to die. But I have no idea how Endeavor, Hawks, certain people make it out of this, you know? a good way to look at it after fighting all for one and only getting an ear ripped off you know what do you do in a situation i'm curious my man still only has one arm and a chunk of him missing imagine that actually happened he killed todoroki and brought him to endeavor as a gift I do like even amongst quirks that are similar you know i don't i don't want to pause it i don't give my hero enough credit for that i do like that aspect especially when it caught when it when we talk about mutations and x-men and stuff like that i love how my hero even though quirks with in a world of seven billion people 80 percent of them having quirks you're gonna have quirks like the kirishimas and the tetsu tetsus that are almost the exact same but I like how there's differences. Like, even if you and me both have warp, you might have sludge warp, which is ass, and my warp might be incredible, you know? Like, that would realistically happen with just a randomness of powers. I'll ride this chaos and go to Tomura. Tomura. <gasps> chaos is a ladder. Ox is not going to let that happen. Not much he can do. Yep, I agree. No more stalling, splitting up. No more being on the defensive, full offense. Talk your shit, Hawks. Talk your shit, Hawks. We don't get to push all for one's buttons too often. When we do, I love it. We got present Mike and more twice is now here. Oh, God. Because, yeah, Kurogiri's here now, too. And they're stopping Monoma. They're stopping Aizawa. What sort of symbolistic anime? What is... What the... F Man just came out of a cocoon and was reborn. Skeptic, only one I can think of. A coffin in the sky. I love and hate that title. With Kurogiri there. Again, how do we turn the tables back in our favor? Yeah, it literally looks like he's molting. He's shedding his skin. A good little callback to that fight. <laughs> A good little callback to season two. God dang. I do like how this does feel like a war. Like how our side takes some dubs, their side 
their side take some dubs. It's not a one-sided conflict at all. He did say end it in five minutes or this fight is over. I see. Both are going through some internal power struggles. It's a it's a race to get moving fastest. That's not La Brava, is it? Gentle's girl? I honestly did not think they would ever come back. I do know that they would were given a second chance by the police. That's a W way for them to come back. Fuck skeptic. Wow. And of course, <laughs> they've had this rivalry. Interesting. Here you go again. So we prevented the hacking, but the damage has already been done. Oh. Well, there we go. Oh, she's putting in that hacking work. Okay, Neo, this ain't the Matrix. She's writing a new program on the spot? I do like that reference to Aoyama. I, I, I get what they're saying. They've committed crimes, but I do like that you have to look at why they've committed crimes. It's a little deeper than that. It's not just black and white. Gentle criminal. Did I ever think gentle criminal and La Brava would come back during the peak of the war against Shigaraki? No. Especially because I love that arc, the school festival. So many people hated that arc. I'm not saying, you know, but what's his name? The dog teacher. He was also in that arc. Oh, shout out Miss Joke. Exactly what I'm saying. My first time seeing his face. Okay. Earlier. After the attack on Tartarus. So after the jailbreak, but before now. At Mikuzu Prison. So during one of the prison breaks. Bruh. Rehabilitation. You'd think maybe even a little. Shout out, Gentle. He looks so much more disheveled, but I love it. I love the self-recognition. If he's able to talk no jutsu all these killers, he's a savage. Wow, besides muscular, he single-handedly stopped every jailbreaker here. A second chance. I do the right thing to make up for my past mistakes. Uh, I should have known. Make it up to Deku. The power of love. Gently super lover. The heart grow fonder. Like I said, the fact that they're given this moment with the music and everything to gentle criminal and La Brava just shocks me. I love it. Deku's going to be shocked when he hears that. He puts the, the dots together so fast. W gentle criminal. My man Deku's cried seven times this season in the best way possible. Uh-oh, it is a raise, Deku. You gotta lock in. Lady Nagant? Oh, that is a great... And she sniped his little hand off. I love that. A great callback. You all for one. She survived. And she's... I love that. And I love how it's all about villains getting a second chance, you know? To borrow the words of a friend. 
like I said, it's not always the fact that they've committed crimes. It's why I love how injured she is. She's still fighting. She's, oh my gosh. That was some great callbacks in that episode. I got goosies right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Shame on me. I did have to re-look up Gentle Criminal and La Brava's quirks because I knew it had something to do with the trampoline, the bouncing. Um, but I for completely forgot that he was able to make anything elastic. Air, for example, makes complete sense. And that La Brava's has to do with empowering the person she loves. It all makes perfect sense. I love the callbacks. And not only do I love the callbacks, I love how it comes full circle and how it references like so many other aspects, like how Lady Nagant is so similar to like Hawks, who's so similar to Endeavor, who's so similar to other, you know what I'm saying? And how Lady Nagant is a criminal just like La Brava and Gentle, but for very different reasons. Who's also a criminal like Aoyama, but for very different reasons. Like, it's like, we have to look into these hearts and not the acts. Like, it gets deep. I appreciate the fact that they, they realize it's not just black and white. I realize the fact though that they, they do realize these people still have done the wrong things. Like, I just, with Lady Nagant, with Gentle Criminal, with La Brava, I was wondering how things were gonna turn on our side. And don't get me wrong, they did slightly on the Shigaraki thing, but I still don't see how Endeavor with an arm missing and a side of his, like, this is still crazy. This is still a tit for tat, neck and neck, and anything can go, I don't know. I'm thoroughly enjoying these episodes though. If you guys are, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, check out that Patreon. Uh, full length versions, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.